One of the major announcements here at Expo 2017 has been that GoGo is introducing a seatback IFV uh, product. So Dave Bajour from GoGo is here to tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, hi. Um, we, today uh, we made an announcement about GoGo Vision Touch. It's our new uh, seatback wireless IFE solution. Mm -hmm. So these are fully fixed to the seat uh, screens and uh, the screen might even be an overstatement. It's a tablet. Um, I think one of the big changes in the industry is that we've got now commercial off-the-shelf tablets that we can put in seatback. So that's what we've done, um, and we're using the wireless infrastructure that we've already got on the plane for the mm -hmm. connectivity systems uh, to power that. So the same WAPs and the same servers and all that kind of stuff uh, to power it. So, so the benefits of this thing, it's much lighter weight because it has far fewer wires. It's wireless after all. Um, and all it gets from the airplane is electricity. So it's lighter weight, it's easier to maintain, and it's modular. So if the airline ever wants to just pull a, a screen off, or it wants to change a server, or it just wants to change a WAP, all those things can be done without removing the rest of the system. Okay. So it gives a lot more flexibility to airlines than, than I think anything that's come before it. Uh, one really important thing when it comes to seatback IFV, of course, is head impact uh, criteria. Right. And I know that until recently, um, consumer off-the-shelf products were just not really cleared because right. of the glass that they're made with. So what's different here? Or is this a product that is inserted into the seat after the plane is reshelved? Yeah, you're right about that. And I think, um, you know, the, the generation of new devices um, that are out there, like even iP iPads or, or Samsung tablets, those kinds of things, you can't just take them off the shelf and put them on the plane. You've got to adapt it in some fashion. Right. Um, and our partners at Delta and Delta Flight Products have done just that. Uh, okay. And they've adapted um, one of these devices to go in the seat back. It's permanently there. So you were asking, does it like come out and in, that kind of thing. No, it doesn't. It stays on the airplane. Um, this plane's going to fly in uh, early to mid part of 2018. It's the Bombardier C-Series mm -hmm. uh, that Delta's taking delivery of. And um, so it's, it's going to be fully certified and installed at the factory alongside our 2KU uh, connectivity system. Wow, so it's a new product, it's a new aircraft type. And it's line fit, and it's installed with the connectivity system. So it's a bunch of things all at once. Wow, that's really interesting. And you said Delta is actually, there's a unit of Delta that's doing some of the work on that's that right. tablet? That's right. So, I mean, Delta's our largest partner. We have over a thousand jets installed at Delta. We uh -huh. work very closely together on lots of projects. And this is one that we've been working on for almost two years now. And uh, they've got certain uh, parts of this that they're working on mm -hmm. and spearheading. And we've got other parts that we're working on and spearheading. So that's uh, one of the things they've led is the hardware integration with the seat and with the aircraft. Right. We, of course, we're the in-flight internet company, so we know a lot about wireless networking and the technology on the plane. Mm -hmm. So uh, those pieces are all ours. Wow, sounds like a great collaborative effort. And I yeah. can't wait to hear more about it as the program progresses. Good, yeah, thanks. Okay, thank you for your time today. Sure.